Like we have learned, so we have our benzene over here, and this is my unstable intermediate because it has a broken circle with a positive charge, and then it has a Cl atom and an H atom. So I give this. Uh, I'm sorry, I. The position of the circle is wrong because it has to be the plus has to be the it has to be broken at this carbon atom. So my circle will be like this. It will be the plus will be here. My this bond will give its electrons to neutralize the charge, and I will get my and the NO2 stays the same, and I will get my stable molecule again with the chlorine substituted on it this time chlorine and a nitrogen and an NO2 group so we have NO2 we have the full circle and we have Cl attached at the meta position which is the 3 or the 5 position so this was for and we also have our leaving H plus group very important so this was it for activating and deactivating groups and uh, now let's look at some common activating and deactivating groups which you will have in your data booklet so yeah examples of activating and deactivating groups as we, we for activating we did the OH group the NO we did for deactivating we did NO2 uh, this is the uh, this is the ether form of uh, alcohol so instead of which we have an R group over here uh, CH methyl benzene will also be in will also have activation on it because of CH3 uh, phenylamine will also have activation chlorobenzene as well and amides as well amides attach amide groups attached to benzene molecules and then as we can see over here uh, NH3 plus is a deactivating group so is CN so is an aldehyde group, so is a ketone group and a carboxylic acid and an ester group as well. So all these are deactivating groups. You don't need to learn these, you, just, you will get them in your data booklet, so you don't need to learn these. You just need to know how activating and deactivating groups work. So we are done with this as well. Now phenol, uh, so we have been working a lot with phenol in the past videos uh, and uh, it's phenol is a very important compound it forms many may, may, it forms many of the useful things we use in today's time so phenol is insoluble and uh, so let's make phenol over here before talking about its, its properties uh, 